ask everybody to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For approval as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Resident statements. Uh, read a guide. Or, or were you just signing in? <laughs> I just signed in. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta address the board. <laughs> Happy okay. New Year. <laughs> so I, I, I assume your, your patriots there don't want to speak either. No. <laughs> and Darren Zimba at the second speaking, at the end, correct? Um, there's no work session, correct? Um, well, we're just going to executive session. No, we're not going into executive okay. session. Yes, again, thank you. Okay. So that would be it. Uh, department head statements. Donna, anything? Uh, yes. <coughs> have the, um, the Town of Lewiston went out for bid to replace the uh, windows at the Lewiston Town Hall along with the uh, doors on the port side. We recently were opened on December 13th and received one bid for 176500 This was forwarded to all the board members a bit ago so you had an opportunity to look at what it was all about and I forwarded it to Jackie and she suggests that the money comes out of H98. So I just need the town board to approve if they want. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. Any comments and questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. We have to do a motion for signature, Al. Sorry? We need a motion for signature. I didn't see the contract. Uh, if, if there is a contract, then sure you would have a yeah. second motion. Please. Motion to direct the supervisor to sign said agreement. Second. A motion a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I do have a, a letter that I received that I would like to read. It says, Dear Hon Honorable Donna Garfinkel, after much thought and consideration, I hereby announce that I will be retiring from my full-time position as first deputy town clerk with the town of Lewiston, effective January 27, 2024. I thank the town clerk and town board, past and present, for all the support these past 37 plus years. I have been blessed to have been given many opportunities bestowed upon me through the years. This decision weighs heavily on me. While I look forward to retirement, it will be difficult leaving my fellow coworkers who have become like family. I wish the town and its employees continued growth and success. Carol Roeder. Mm -hmm. Carol, you want to stand up? Yay. 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 Thank you and congratulations. Sure. Uh, Carol's one of my former students, so uh, I don't know. Yearbook today for you to sign it for me. <laughs> Make a motion to accept Carol's resignation with regret and wish her the best of her retirement. Second. We have a motion, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We should all be opposed. <laughs> so, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, congratulations. She is the most. <laughs> uh, also, I, I placed the your seats on the dais for the reorganization meeting, the um, 2023 Board and Commission roster, so you know who's going to be um, expiring. Also, the 2024 applications that we received and the 2023 applications that were received, just in case there's not enough from 2024. Okay, and we need to set the date, correct? Or did we already set the date? We did not. That's on. That's under your agenda to schedule the reorganization meeting. Okay. So whenever you want to do it. Okay. We'll, yeah, we'll wait. Thank you very much, Don. That's it. Chief. I just so the board's aware, we have canvassed for the position that the board approved in for in January. So there'll be a 
PT test at the academy on the 12th, and then I'll be approaching an interview after that to see what the results are, and then I'll be approaching the board, uh, hopefully by the end of the month, the next meeting for a, for a hire. Do you want to give any updates on about what's going on down the river since it's caused such a concern on Facebook and social media? Uh, we're working with Border Patrol. Obviously, there's a problem. They have identified a problem, and we've had uh, numerous instances where we've assisted them with people coming over on rafts, um, and we end up giving them chases usually around in the village. It happened, uh, I think the last one was Christmas, maybe Christmas Day as well. So we are working with them. We're trying to coordinate with them now, um, but that is an, an ongoing problem. So we encourage and, anybody, and if you see anything or hear anything, to call. I don't want to catch you off guard, but I just saw some stuff this afternoon that kind of getting a little wacky. So It's been going on for a little while now. Yeah. Well, I'm okay. <coughs> Thank you. Tim, anything? No. Dan Zeno, anything? No, thank you. Jeff? No, thank you. Bob? No, thank you. Al? No, thank you. Melinda? Yes, we're continuing to have lots of activities at the senior center. Um, tomorrow we're having a New Year's Eve party, you know, at noon instead of that midnight. So we'll have some uh, non alcoholic champagne for the seniors and some other snacks. And just moving forward with our regular activities, which, which you all have in the newsletter, or you can check out on our website. And I'm sure that Carol will be in. And I know Bill will continue to come in, and anybody else, you know, stop in. We're there. Thank you. Tim Smith. Uh, it's glad to see that you got something to do. Uh, do we? Uh, just uh, posted our new events coming up, so please check us out on Facebook. Uh, happy to report all the rest of our skating dates are sponsored, so that's going well. Uh, we have a slight little problem, as Mr. Supervisor knows, uh, for our skating on Thursday, well, yesterday, excuse me, Wednesday, and he ran out of skates. That's how many people we had. So that was actually a great problem to have. So uh, that's been going phenomenal. So check us out on Facebook. A lot of events coming up. Appreciate uh, Tim, it. I'm disappointed that Mickey Mouse didn't come with you tonight to say goodbye to Carol and I. <laughs> we, I told him he was, you were going to sing. Oh, I'll, I'll, I, I know the song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tim. It happens. That's why they're going to have a noon ball, noon ball drop for you. <laughs> <laughs> Approval of the meeting minutes for the town board, uh, uh, regular town board meeting on November 27th. Move for approval as printed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, work session meeting minutes from uh, December 11th. Move for approval as presented. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Audit payment. Council needs approval. I move to approve the regular abstract of claims in 23 03389 through 23 03603 and recommend, uh, easy for me to say, and recommend payment in the amount of $278,073.57 plus a post audit of $10,278.01. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Yeah. Any pending old business? No. Any new business? Residence public correspondence? <coughs> Thank you. My liaison report, our reorganization met, uh, meeting work session um, will be January 8th, um, a week from Monday. And that will be both meetings in one. We'll start with the reorganization meeting and then move into the work session. Do we need a, a motion to vote on that or no? We just no, I think we just said it. Yeah. That'll be at six o'clock. Six p.m. Yeah, regular time. I'm busy. I know. You're out of the loop. You're out. You can zoom. And then the uh, mighty Niagara Half Marathon. They've given us their 2024 date. I have a letter. Um, dear uh, supervisor, thank you for your continued support of the mighty Niagara Half Marathon and the Hospice Dash 5K. We are already planning for next year, and we would like to request Saturday, October 5th, 2024, for next year's race. We plan to keep the same route with our starting line at our park 
in post-race party at Porter on Lake Park. Our race director, Paul Beatty, and I would be glad to come and discuss the event if needed and answer any questions you might have. Our event continues to raise thousands of dollars for Niagara Hospice and is becoming a must-run race in the area. Uh, any questions, they leave a phone number and that's from Colleen Daddario. And I don't think we have to make a vote on that. It's just not, so, and that, that goes off pretty smooth. They coordinate with you. Yeah, they'll be in touch and we coordinate with them. Received and filed. Yes. Um, legal, anything else? No new updates for you this week. Engineering, Bob? No, sir. Finance, Jack. Yes, um, you previously received budget revisions for 2023 in your package. I ask for those approvals tonight. I have the opportunity to talk to Jackie and uh, so did Rob. So uh, there's 25 of them. Move for approval as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I also have an investment report update on December 14th. Two of our um, U.S. Treasury bills matured, and the town earned a total of $50,899.33 in interest. Good. No further um, investments were made at that time. We're going to hold off until after the first of the year and decide whether we're going to reinvest or not. Correct. So, um, and before we move on, I want to just say. Uh, when I first was going to run for supervisor, um, I had talked to the chairman of the, the party, and one of the things that he said was Bill Guyden was going to run for um, town board as well. That was eight years ago. Well, actually, yeah, eight years ago. So Bill came on board, I came on board, and it's been a pleasure serving with Bill. Bill's been a great support. Um, I know there's so many people that come through that front door that are sitting here today that had Bill Guyton as, as a teacher at Newport. He taught, um, I believe, government, correct? Participation in government, which you kind of walk the walk, walk the walk and talk the talk. Um, I know I believe in 74, you ran for the village trustee. Yes. And you lost, just like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> you, you stuck with it. And then uh, in 1989, after being on the, uh, Recreation Committee Commission and decided that you were going to run for town board. So from 89 to 94, you were on the town of Lewiston town board and you became deputy supervisor. Then to my chagrin, you joined the village of Lewiston and approved the project two doors away from me that I'll never forgive you for. <laughs> but we won't, yeah, we won't hold anything for today. But from 99 to 2010, you were in the village of Lewiston, you were the trustee, you are the deputy mayor. I was going to get you a picture put on your wall at home with that sub little subdivision, but I wasn't going to do that today. So, <laughs> but, to move there. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be my neighbor. And then, uh, and like I said, 2015, you decided to run for town board. Um, you've been an active member of this board. Um, you've been a wealth and knowledge to this board. Um, you know, uh, I'm glad all our workers showed up to uh, acknowledge your last day on the town board. I really appreciate that. Um, seeing as you are the one who spearheaded the $2,500 of uh, money that we gave to our employees that no other town did, um, I really appreciate that. So with that, um, I want to congratulate you on your, I'm going to call it a semi-retirement because you've been retired already. So this is kind of a, just like I said, a little side hustle you've had. And I wish you nothing but the best. You'll still be a phone call away, I'm, I know. You can call me anytime you want. You can come in and complain and, and bitch with the rest of them, but you, you'll enjoy seeing you. So I just wanted to say that, and uh, we'll move on to Councilman Guyton. Oh, well, first thing I do is to like to pass down to Donna my key. <laughs> and it's with pleasure I let go of that before I lose it. <clears throat> I noticed on the, the wall today, I looked at the pictures, the ones from 30 years ago, I do look conspicuously younger and thinner and darker hair and all that. It's been my pr privilege serving Lewiston residents, both appointed and elected positions over the past years. I thank my family, especially my wife, Rita, friends and the voters for giving me that opportunity. A shout out to my daughters for their moral support. My daughter Barbara is in attendance today and my daughter Carrie with her family is in southern, 
of Southern California. <laughs> uh, watch it on Facebook and Zoom, hopefully. Uh, many years of well, public service has given me the opportunity to work with many hardworking, dedicated people. Their accomplishments are evident with the work that they do and the accomplishments that they have provided. Uh, with the quality of life at Lewiston, we have a great community and a great place to live. I wish the current board and future boards much success over the years. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Curiosity. Raise your hand if Bill was your teacher at Luke Park. Yeah. <laughs> I actually thought it'd be more for that. <laughs> well, since we hire from outside uh, Lewiston now, we've got to get some guy to Wheatfield. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Councilman Jacoby? Um, we have a letter from the library. I'll read it. It's not that long. I'm writing you today regarding the terms of two current members of the Lewiston Library. Uh, board of Trustees, specifically Ms. Nancy Smith and Mr. Frederick Queso. I am aware that each of their trustee terms are set to expire at the end of this calendar year. Nancy and Fred are both highly dedicated and valuable members of the board, and I can attest that they serve for the best interest of Lewiston's residents, taxpayers, and library patrons, always in the forefront of their minds. With this, I respectfully request that Nancy and Fred both be reappointed to a new five-year term effective January 1st, 2024. And that's from Chris Pinozo, president. Um, and I make a motion that we, uh, can we do that appointment? We reappoint both of them. Yeah. We, we, don't yeah. we just confirm those appointments? No, it's there are appointments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but, a motion. Uh, I make a motion that we yeah. make that appointment tonight. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And that's all I have. Okay, Councilman mm -hmm. Myers, anything? Thank you for the bill. Uh, years of service to our town and to the village. And, uh, you know, campaigning, it was a pleasant first time around. Going up to all the houses, oh, Mr. Diamond, Mr. Diamond, how are you? And I knew, um, you know, he was an exemplary guy and, uh, you know, hitched, hitched myself to a good wagon. And uh, I wish you uh, good luck to serve well. To, good luck to you, too. Again, I appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Supervisor, I neglected to uh, say just a couple things. Go ahead. I'll give the other side of the coin from the Democratic side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bill's been wonderful to me. And uh, as a lone Democrat, uh, I could have been shuffled off in the corner and ignored. And, and Bill was always there with advice and help and uh, made the job in the transition into, into public service very, very easy for me. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Before we get to Darren, does anybody want to stand up? Okay, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, Rob. Yeah, I, I jumped right over you. I apologize. I said anybody else. I got a little cold, so I'm a little hoarse. But anyways, I also came on in 2015 with Steve and Bill. Didn't know either one of them. But we ended up forming a bond. We worked well together. We accomplished a lot in eight years. So it's been a pleasure having him on my right side over there. I'm going to miss him. But congratulations. Yeah, that's it. So before Darren speaks, I know nobody else signed in. Does anybody wish to say anything in regards to Bill Goddard's retirement or anything else? <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Darren Zimba. Sure, I'm up. I thought some ladies signed before me. Yeah, they, his wife and friends who previously <laughs> signed, they signed up to uh, attend. Oh. They didn't know it came with a speaking engagement. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good evening. My name is Darren Ziemba. I'm an elected labor leader for the Teamsters, Local 254, which represents groups of workers who reside in the town of Lewiston. These groups include the Police Department, the Department of Public Works, and the folks that work here in the Town Hall and in the courts. I'm also an elected village board member in the village of the Pew, where I reside. 
which allows me to say that I'm familiar with some of the day-to-day -day challenges that each of you face. Now, as part of our village bargaining committee, which, excuse me, which successfully ratified contracts last year with our police department, our Department of Public Works, and our white collar unions, which were represented by the respective unions, unions not Teamster unions. Um, we hope these municipality positions, not for the money, but to try to make a difference in our communities and better the day to day lives of our residents. I want to make public tonight that many of the workers, residents themselves, here at Town Hall and other facilities throughout the town, will be working under an expired contract beginning January 1st. Our Teamsters Union represents these workers. We, with the town, are heading to mediation under the guidance of the Public Employees Relations Board. We trust that the town leadership will utilize these sessions with the mediator with the, with the degree of seriousness that they deserve, which did not appear to exist when the town failed to negotiate any, or budget any time to negotiate with the union the final 48 days of this year. Knowing our agreement expired at the year's end, the worker residents of your municipality deserve that seriousness. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Jerry. Anybody else like to speak? Okay, with that, I will ask for a motion to adjourn from Bill Gadsby. I move to adjourn. All in favor? A little hesitation. Aye. Before I go, we're, we're going to get a quick picture up here in front of the uh, podium with uh, with Bill. Don, you want to get in? No. Come on. Come on. Come